over 50% of traders don't do this. <laughs> Hi, it's Charlie giving you this week's video and we're going to take uh, this chart of the euro dollar right now. So as you can see, it's a daily chart and the euro has been on the decline. I'm recording this about a week ago from when you're seeing this. Um, I'm currently on vacation. And over the past couple of months, we can see that the euro has been on a bit of a decline here. And yet a huge number of retail traders are long. Uh, we can get positioning information on this. And as I'm recording this, I'm recording this last Friday. <laughs> um, as I'm recording this, a huge percentage of retail traders are net are long and they are on average 176 pips underwater. And this gets worse. So they're on average 176 pips underwater. What does that tell us? It tells us one thing that they don't use stops. They don't use stop losses. Risk management is such an important part of trading and yet so many traders don't use stops and we, we see it because we get we get this information. So we get to see how what the average uh, person uh, who is uh, long where how far underwater and that's the average so if the hun if the average is 176 pips oh my word there's going to be loads of traders who must have got long back here back here back here and are holding on because if that's the average of 176 it means that there must be plenty of people who are 300 pips underwater and obviously not therefore not using stop losses so that's our biggest problem that's what you know like i've said over 50 percent of retail traders don't use stop losses and so we get to see that and if i can give you one piece of advice going into this coming weekend if you are one of those traders who's trying to trade without stops the real the reason why traders don't use uh, stop loss losses is because they want to be right okay they want to be right and the one thing with not using stops is that a lot of, it does mean that you're you you could well have a higher success rate because a lot of the time the market will retrace you might go underwater let's take this phase back here let's say you get long here you go on water for a while and then it comes back up and let's say you've got long over here and you go underwater for a while and it comes back up but there's always going to be that point <laughs> where you go underwater for a while and uh-oh and you end up blowing your account so what's the point in being right more often if if at some point the market's going to have such a long move down that you end up just blowing your account up so it's pointless it's futile and yet people out there do it so if you are one of those people that don't use stops when um the only times when you could use uh, not use stops is um if you're hedging so there could be there could be you're hedging one position against another so therefore you don't need stops on it so that would be a a, a time when you uh, don't use stops but if you're using mean reversion strategies again um you still have to have risk management you still have to have a hard stop in place because if you don't at some point the market will come back and get you i've seen this time and time again over the years so please just consider the fact that right now as of recording this there's nearly 70 percent of retail traders are long <laughs> and um and they are a net 170 odd pips underwater telling us that so many of them still don't use stop losses there's nothing wrong with being getting long during a down leg because there, there's, there's always plenty of technical levels where technical traders will you know try you know, try and get long and um whether it's here or whether it's here or there could be or here or there could be loads of levels so there's nothing wrong with um uh, if you're if you've got a strategy that's calling for you to get long at various times providing you're using stop losses if you don't then all, all that happens is uh, if a market carries on running you end up blowing an account up that's my advice for today have a great weekend and i'll see you next week